feels that he must. Why is he in politics if he doesn't like to attack? He just, he just looked uncomfortable. Well, speaking of facial uh, things on your face, <laughs> facial things on your face, huh, Rosetta? Listen, facial expressions. I, and I think it's unfortunate that attacking is uh, now uh, our national sport when it comes to politics and a lot of other Come things. Come on, that's why people are watching the debates. Who watched these many debates? All right, let's Five, bring... record number of people tuning in. They want to see some fireworks. Th uh, that's, I guess, true, um, uh, although I did skip it last night. Let's bring in the expert, Tanya Ryman. Tanya Ryman is a body language expert, internationally known. She can look at somebody's face and figure out what's in his or her mind. It's incredible. Hello, Tanya. <laughs> Hi. All right, so what, what's the first thing that comes to your mind this morning after watching the debates? Jeb was really trying to be strong and tough and forceful, and he really did achieve it maybe twice, and then the rest of the time he just fell back. You said there was something funny about how he was himself. pointing? No, it wasn't Not him. Jeb, that was Trump. Actually, you're, you're noticing now, you're seeing how Trump evolves. He's much calmer, his voice is lower, and he's using his hand gestures in a much more controlled manner. So now, see, it's not this aggressive finger pointing towards, towards someone. It's yeah. more of like using his hands and using kind of like the OK sign. Who did that? Didn't the president? Clinton was the one who started that because it was seen as such an aggressive position to constantly be pointing, especially as a president. So hmm. he started using a lighter gesture, which wouldn't seem so All right. caustic. Everybody's kind of talking, though, about the exchanges between Jeb Bush and Donald Trump and Donald yeah. Trump's facial expressions. Is that, that's all he knows is he's just a billboard. So let's take a look at that. <laughs> uh, I think we have that footage. Roll it. Here we, there go. we go. Okay, so if you're watching him, obviously he purses his lips a lot, and that's a sign of disdain that he doesn't like the person. But now even Jeb Bush gets into it. The reason Jeb Bush can't come off as powerful as Trump can is because he masks everything with, see that with silly that phony smile. smile. It's a it's phony a silly, smile. Yeah, because actually that smile is a submissive smile. Whereas when Trump does it, it's a smirk. It's a contemptuous smile to let you know he doesn't like you. You know what? In Americans, we don't like phonies. Yeah. We don't. Huh. All right, what else here? Uh, you want to hear them go back and forth? How about this, the Rubio uh, politician touch? What's that all about? Oh, which one? Because when he, he touched Fiorina in the beginning, is that the one? Let's see. Okay, so here he touches he touches Carson, right? right. But watch when he touches Fiorina, and when Let's he see. like, she gets noticeably upset. Now this is also a power move. When you touch someone, watch what she does. And look at, see how oh, she quick, gave him a look. But if you had seen in slow motion, it was very, very serious, that look. It was, and with her, it's very hard to read her face sometimes, but that was a look of, don't touch me. Why do you think it's hard to read her face? She's tough read. It's plastic. And I think <laughs> what? it's... Uh, I didn't mean it that way. I mean, you know what I mean? The, the, it's a one base oh, for I all occasions. You something else. All right, wait, I want to show you this. Governor Christie, I thought he had a moment where he looked right at the camera, which is arguably a cheesy move, but he looked right at the he camera. He does it all the time, though. And spoke to the audience. Yeah. Listen to this. We've been betrayed by the leadership that Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton have provided to this country over the last number of years. Think about just what's happened today. The second largest school district in America. Okay, just give so you a why not? He's, he's got to appeal to the yeah. people who are watching And he at does home. a great job. The one thing that's really powerful for a candidate to do is look at that dot. Look at that because you're really connecting with the audience. And what winds up happening is people go, they were talking directly to me. I felt it. And when he does that, he engages his audience and people tend to really like him for it and they respect and appreciate it. So you think it. he was effective? I do. I think he did really well last night. I was very happy to see him get back into the first tier. I thought it was a big mistake that he had to be pushed down to the second tier for the last debate. Hmm. All right, Carly Fiorina, she doesn't like to be touched. Uh, take a look at this, uh, the laughing uh, moment. Go ahead. It's coming. Okay. I hear them. I'm going to make a phone call. <laughs> no, I hear them talking about it. Do they have it? it there it is. It's okay. She was mentally unstable. Last week, so you know what? She laughed, and then you see that grimace, and her mouth pulls down. She gets very offended, and when she gets offended, she looks nasty. So here, that's one of her biggest issues. She comes across as being constantly angry. Really? Yes. Yeah, because even when she's smiling, it, her face goes down into a direction that doesn't look like a true smile. I don't smile. know, Tanya. You, you know, you're being tough on a woman because, you know, women, like if they're aggressive, they're the B word. No. And so when they're trying to be stern, then they look... There's a difference between becoming angry and trying to be effective. So you're aggressive or you're just trying to be effective. And with her, she seems to be angrier than trying to be effective. And I think that she's frustrated because she's not getting her time in that she feels she deserves, and that makes her come across as a whiner. And that's how women look. Rand Paul did the same thing in the last debate. He didn't do it so much last night. But when you whine, that's what people think of you. Huh, all right. Yeah. Uh, now, Trump and Cruz had a tender moment. 
I well, believe. This was very interesting, yes. Watch this. So, yeah. So when we watch as Trump leans up, watch what he does. What does Cruz do? He tucks down, which is submissive, right. right? And then he leans into Trump. So when you see that, it's kind of like, oh, please be nice to me. Look, Trump likes me. So he bends down and leans towards, and that's a very submissive signal. Really? Oh, about yeah. that. Well, and, and uh, Cruz has been nice, I guess you could say, to Trump compared to the other candidates. Yeah, of course, because, well, there's a reason for that. But yes, and did you notice last night, just speaking of Cruz, I thought this was a very interesting moment when Wolf Blitzer kept trying to say, hey, enough, enough, enough. And Cruz kind of gave that smug look as he turned away from the camera, and you saw Wolf Blitzer go, like, just a real anger. It was strong. It was, it was good. The moderator was very good. There was a good panel last night. I think they held everybody in kind of control. Yeah, I thought it was an interesting debate last yeah. night. It was. It was fun to watch. As it goes on, it's getting, you know, a little bit more tiresome because it's repetitive, but they're but all there were evolving. some good faces, Donald Trump, and we didn't show half those good faces that he yeah. made. That's a very good impression. I like that. You. Yes, the Tanya, lips. thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. It's time for you to go. Oh, darn. <laughs> really appreciate you coming in being on my show. Oh, thank Rosanna, you, you know, is here too. Yeah, it's your show. She, she <laughs> okay. sits next to you. All right. Mike I'll Wood. give an, uh, another expression that'll be a lot clearer when we go to commercial <laughs> I'm break. Out. What are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> what? What do it's I do? It's a salute. Uh. That we do. <laughs> I've seen it. I'm very, you know, thank I'm you, very Sean, nice yeah. to you, Rosanna. I'm very nice. You know, you're not very nice sometimes. <laughs> Mike Woods, what's up? I love it. It's so good. <laughs> Having a good time over there. All right, good morning, everyone. It's time to get you going on this... Uh, what is it? Wednesday. Wednesday morning. A little bit of winter.